Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create this simple watercolor hearts card just in time for Valentine's Day. So let's get started. A full detailed list of my materials can be found in the description box below. To begin, I'm going to lightly sketch my design out. Since I want to go for a more organic and natural feel, I'm going to sketch this free-handed, but you can always make a little stencil to keep the hearts the same size, or even use some graphite transfer paper to transfer the design onto your paper. I'm creating three hearts on the top and bottom rows, and only one in the middle. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going in with my kneaded eraser to pick up the extra graphite on the page from the pencil. This will keep your sketch light and prevent your pencil marks from showing through the watercolor. Now I'm sketching in the letters I and U in the spaces I've left beside the middle heart. And again, once I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm just taking my kneaded eraser over it and removing the dark line so I'm left with a light outline of my design. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to place about two drops of each color onto my ceramic palette. Because these liquid watercolors are concentrated, a little goes a long way. I'm going to start by wetting my brush with some clean water and diluting the paint to create a watery mix for my first layer. While my first layer is still wet, I'm going in with some purple and just dropping it into the wet paint. This is called a wet-on-wet -wet technique, and it's a great way to achieve a beautiful gradient with watercolor. I will repeat the same process for the rest of the hearts, changing the colors as I go along to give each one a unique look. When adding a new color, make sure your first layer is still wet. If your first color has dried, the paint won't mix as seamlessly. You can solve this by simply re-wetting your first color, then applying the second one on top. Remember, you don't have to be perfect with this. Let the watercolors do the work and just have fun with it. I love using these concentrated liquid watercolors by Prima Marketing because they're so vibrant in color and just make your design pop right off the page.
Now that I'm done painting all my hearts, I'm going in with my Pentel Color Brush Pen to write in my letters. I use this pen because of the organic brush strokes effect that this pen creates. It's just perfectly imperfect. And that's it, a beautiful handmade card for a special someone that's perfect for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. I will be uploading a new video every week, so consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Take care and I'll see you next week with a new art video.